Chef table, check. <laughs> Eating John's lunch for him, check. Tread new drapes! Check. Okay, that's everything on my to-do list for today. Huh? <laughs> Here, please send this off. In case you're wondering, I just sent that DVD I made of you misbehaving to Dr. Whipple. No, not Dr. Whipple. I want to watch a really mindless game show featuring people dressed up as large chickens. I don't care what you want to watch, Garfield. We're going to watch Dr. Whipple. As you know, I specialize in teaching obedience to pets, especially cats who don't know how to behave and are lazy, rude, and impossible. I hear there are such cats. Yesterday on this show, I showed you one of the worst behaved cats I've uh, ever uh, come across. Here's a tape of how kittikins used to be. <laughs> hey, seems like my kind of guy. In fact, Kittykins looks kind of familiar. Since then, I have put Kittykins through my no-fail guaranteed pet obedience training, and here he is. <clears throat> Kittykins, would you like to chase this bird? Mm. No. Okay. What a well <laughs> You see, you can train your disobedient pet with my exclusive line of DVDs, what? tapes, books, computer software, pet Don't food, worry, Garfield. I'm not going to order all that expensive writer. equipment. <sighs> Good. For a minute there, I thought... Come on in. It's open. John, you didn't. You wouldn't. You couldn't. You did. Come with me, cat. Uh, uh, farewell, Odie. I'll be back. But I may not be me when I return. <sighs> John. How could you do this to me? Oh, what? good morning, cat. <clears throat> now, if you do as you're told, we can get through this in a hurry. After several hours of my training, you will be a tame, docile Whoa. cat like Kittikins here. Why does Kittikins look so familiar to me? Huh? First training method, the sound chamber. This will instill in you a sense of warning if you misbehave. Don't scratch. Don't mistreat puppies. What you've been I'll be back in about an hour. No. All right, it's an hour later. Fine. We're off to a good start. Yuck. This is to break you of your atrocious habit of kicking small puppies off of tables. Whenever you kick the robotic puppy off, well, just try it and see what happens. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> I'm not taking this lion down.
Oh, I know just how you feel, pal. And now it's time to eat. Why do I have the feeling this is the first time ever I'm not going to like doing that? All right, here is your food. <laughs> Kitty Crunch, dry nuggets, styrofoam flavor, and here is my dinner. Prime rib with mashed potatoes, gravy, cream corn, and apple pie a la mode for dessert. Ooh, yum and double yum. You must eat your food and not eat my food. Because do you know what will happen if you try to eat my food? <laughs> oh, ouch. Ouch. That's right. If you try for my food, a half-ton safe will drop on you. So I noticed. Now. Make the correct choice. Cat, every time you reach for the prime rib, the safe will drop on you. Don't you realize this? <laughs> then why do you keep reaching for the prime rib? Because it's just the way I like it, medium rare. Good job. Now you've had the complete program. And somehow I su su survived. You'll be perfectly behaved when we do my TV show in one hour. <sighs> that was awful. In fact, it was worse than awful. It would have to get better just to be awful. Hi, Garfield. Hi, Kittykins. Hey, how do you know my name, Kittykins? Wait. You're Harry, that cat from my neighborhood. <laughs> That's me. Well, what are you doing pretending to be a tame cat named Kittykins? You're as bad as I am. I got me a job. I pretend to be a successful result of Doc Whipple's training, and every day he pays me my weight in tuna fish. He can afford that? Are you kidding? You know how much this guy makes off these stupid lessons he sells? How much does he make? Enough to pay you your weight in tuna. Well, that's a lot of tuna. Yeah, play along. Help him sell the stuff, and you could have the same great job I have. Hmm. Which would I rather have? My weight and tuna every day? Or my integrity? Ooh, these moral decisions are hard. And now, the world's foremost trainer of problem pets, Dr. Wimble! <laughs> Thank you. Today, you will see the results of my greatest challenge worst-behaved cat I'd ever seen, Garfield. I put him through my extreme housebreaking program, and now you will see the results. <laughs> Garfield? Garfield, do you have any desire to mistreat small puppies? Do you have any desire to steal food or shred drapes? <laughs> that cat has become so well behaved. We have to order Dr. Whipple's DVDs, tapes, and books. But we don't have a cat. Oh, very good, Garfield. Now, is there anything you'd like to do? Yes, this. <laughs> <laughs> Catch him! Going down. <laughs> that cat is not well behaved. I thought Dr. Whipple had trained him not to do things like that. <clears throat> Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I have to go tend to, uh, matters. <laughs> Got it, you. Ah. Struggle all you want, cat. You ain't getting away. There he is, the cat who's trying to ruin my business. Who, me? Sweet, well-behaved me? But it won't work. The public is too stupid to catch on. Hey, so what if my training program doesn't work? They still send me tons of money. <laughs> Those idiots. I got a sweet racket going here, and you won't stop me. Dr. Whipple, they're hearing you on national television. They can't hear me. I left my microphone on stage. They can, uh... <laughs> Do you have any further words for our listening audience, Doctor? 
You miserable little... I'm taking my cat home, thank you very much. Thanks for the lessons, Doc. Dr. Whipple, the phone lines are jammed with customers canceling orders and demanding refunds. Why didn't you teach that cat how to behave? I did. Unfortunately, that's how he behaves. Garfield, I wanted to say again how sorry I am I sent you to that terrible doctor. Oh, I'd say uh, eight more apologies ought to do it. <sighs> well, Odie, I'm home and I'm still me. Dr. Whipple didn't whip me into shape the way you wanted. Oh, that reminds me, it's time for his show. The Dr. Whipple show normally seen at this time will never be seen again. Wow, this couldn't have gone better. Instead, stay tuned for a really mindless game show featuring people dressed as large chickens. I was wrong. That's better. <laughs> <laughs>